The world is on fire. We just told you about Russia rocketing Ukraine. Now add Israel and Gaza. Illegals flooding our border and Detroit, Detroit so broke they're turning off the water literally. So is this any time for a president to go on a cross-country fundraising blitz? It is for President Obama just back from his fundraising tour de force out west. Jonathan, are the presidential priorities in order? Well, Eric, the president is the commander in chief. Only he commands the guns. I mean, he's he's the policeman and the policeman has got to be on the job. I think what we're seeing from the president is really pure evasion. Somehow he thinks that ignoring these problems will make them go away. Wishing won't make it so. And the IRS, Russia, the Middle East, the, uh, these, the economy, these are really serious problems. And the president seems completely AWOL with this cross-country fundraising trip instead of actually being the president. Yeah, and Wayne, what about it? Uh, we, we just rolled a couple of screens where it showed President Obama on pace. Now, it said 401 as of Friday, but on pace to do over 500 fundraisers while George Bush did 338 in his full eight years of his, of his time. Should he be spending more time in the Oval Office and less, less time on the left coast? I, I don't think it matters where he spends his time. I just don't think this guy's interested in, in being the president anymore. I, I just, I, I, what I see is, Eric, for example, we've got this fellow down in Mexico who's been, you know, locked up down there for three months. He hasn't uttered a word. Now, you don't have to be in the, in the White House to do that. You can be on the road. You can work. I know I work all the time. You do, too, when we're on the road, whatever it is. He could do that. He just isn't interested. I don't think this is a substitute of being fundraising for being president. I think this is a guy who is just totally not interested in doing anything except what he wants to do, which is to play golf. And he's great at fundraising, so they use him. All right, Jessica, what about he likes to play golf, he likes the vacation, but he's the commander in chief. He's, he's the leader of the free world. Shouldn't he be leading? He is. And I mean, I think this is an example where he can walk and chew gum at the same time. There was a tremendous <laughs> amount of debt left over from the 2012 presidential election, and they're finally starting to pay that down. So this is what needs to be happening so that we can get Democrats elected in the midterm elections that are coming up. There needs to be fundraising going on. That's the bottom line. Republicans are doing it as well. And he is the executive mm -hmm. that needs to be out there and the face. Wouldn't just right, so hold on, hold on. Wouldn't so, so, no, 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 no. be a great fundraiser? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. You guys, I, Jessica, let me sum this up. Forget Russia, Israel, and the border. We have a lot of debt to take care of. Michelle, listen to this. This is what happens when President Obama goes on fundraising trips instead of paying attention to the country. Listen to what things come out of his mouth. Watch. We need to stop companies from renouncing their citizenship just to get out of paying their fair share of taxes. I'm not interested in punishing these companies, but I am interested in, in economic patriotism. Michelle, fair share, economic patriotism, boy, that sounds like a socialist to me. You? Yeah, it does. And you know, Jessica says that this president can walk and chew gum at the same time. No, he can't. He's walking among the 1%, and the rest of the world is going up in flames. We have people being blown up in the sky. We have a border crisis. We have a drought. And he's doing nothing. He's hanging around people who are willing to pay up to $32,000 a plate to see him. That's not presidential. He's more interested in being a salesman than a president. Just this mid this mid uh, this cycle alone, he's gone to 73 <laughs> fundraisers. And, I mean, is he supposed to be Eric, personally Eric, running the water Eric, to stop the drought? I mean, I don't understand. I mean, he's not going to be able to actually to personally take the planes down from going, the sky. Why also. is he going and talking to those people instead of going and talking to the 1% and trying to get their money? Part of the reason that uh, politicians have to spend so much time fundraising, Eric, is because of the bipartisan McCain-Feingold campaign finance reform. I mean, if, if, if that was gone, maybe politicians wouldn't have to spend so much time fundraising. But I think Jessica just briefly to answer you, maybe if he was acting a bit more presidential, he would he wouldn't have to spend so much time fundraising. People would support him financially because they knew that he was doing the job. All right, we're gonna have to leave it right there. I'm sorry, just had to <laughs> mean to cut you off. Wayne, we're gonna get you in the next one. Coming up, well.